this is what we've got now. So I have my two pairs of bracelets and you can see that I've reused the original cow leather metal ring just because I didn't want to make one specifically from fish leather and also because the old one is the same color and I think it was easier for me to do it this way so I just decided to do it this way. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna experiment with you guys. I've already smoked all my fillets, but I really want to make sure that this bracelet is waterproof, just in case you know if you have a bit of sweat from your wrist. I don't want to damage the skin, so I'm gonna extract smoke these two pieces. So I'm just gonna try this trick. I'm gonna put my two parts into this container and I have this lid with a rubber seal. And I'm just gonna try to send some smoke just to saturate this container with smoke and leave my two pieces soaking the smoke just to get more waterproof effect. So we'll see how it goes. So put some smoke before put the lid back and then I'm just put some more smoke from the from the opening of the bottle just to really chase all the air and try to just have smoke inside this container and eventually because I have this rubber seal I'm gonna try to seal the, the lid all the smoke will stay inside so the two fish leather parts will just be into a smoky environment and hopefully the smoke will go through the skin to have the waterproof effect. That should be fine. Yeah, there's a big fog, I don't know if you can see, but there's a huge fog, so it's just smoke inside. So this is a smoker from my big activity, so there are many ways to do smoke, but that's a very quick and efficient way to create smoke. Okay, I think that's enough. Here we go. So I'm gonna leave these two parts inside. I'm gonna leave this for a few hours, maybe more, and I'll check.